Hi, and welcome to Dr. Mix. So what in the world is a crypto synth? Well, I recently got inspired by NFT art such as CryptoPunks. These are a collection of funky looking 8-bit style characters that are bought and sold as digital art. So I like art and I like to draw. Specifically, I like to draw synthesizers. Here's something I've always done. Check it on my school diary from when I was 13. Ready? Bang! <laughs> the X7, baby! So in the past few months, I really got into drawing synthesizers on Illustrator. I may have gone a little bit obsessive about it, but hey, what's not to love about it? I get to choose colors for the panels, for the cheeks. I can come up with different styles of knobs, sliders, buttons. Sometimes I even put displays or BU meters on it. It's so satisfying. So the result of all this work is my very first collection of NFT art, the CryptoSynths. Aren't they cool? This is number one, the very first one that I designed. It has four pads, three sliders and three knobs. This is number seven and it has an oscilloscope display to show waveforms. CryptoSynth number nine and 10 are in space because synthesizers look perfect in space. This one I've made with my son, Oh. This one is inspired by the Vox Continental and I think it really looks cool. I even made a few to celebrate countries like Italy and America. So I'm selling this collection of unique pieces of synthesizer art as NFTs. So what's an NFT? NFT is the future of all intellectual property, music, visual arts, books, films, video games, you name it. Yes, this is a big deal. NFT stands for non-fungible token, a fancy word to describe a digital certificate stored on a secure distributed database called the blockchain. To put it simply, public copies of the certificate are scattered all over thousands of computers across the world making it impossible for anyone to mess with the certificate. This is the same technology that powers cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. NFTs authenticate ownership of intellectual property. This means that when you buy a crypto synth, you're really buying a crypto synth. It's on a public record and no one can change that, unless you decide to sell it later on for a profit. When you do sell it for a profit, the artist keeps getting a percentage in perpetuity and without middleman. How's that for copyright protection, right? And that's why NFTs are so revolutionary. And that's part of the reason why I am experimenting with them. So how do you get your very own crypto synth? Step one, download MetaMask wallets. You will need this to store your Ethereum currency and your NFT. MetaMask is free and it's installed as a Google Chrome extension, just like that. When you first install it, you will be given 12 seed words that you can use to restore your wallet in case you lose it. Write these words down in the correct order on a piece of paper and store it somewhere safe. Step number two, buy some Ethereum and put them in your digital wallet. You can get Ethereum from a vast choice of crypto exchanges, such as one of these. You can also buy Ethereum directly on Metamask with a card or Apple Pay. Step number three. Once you've got funds on your Metamask wallet, go to opensea.io forward slash collection forward slash crypto hyphen synths. Choose the crypto synth you like. Some of them, like this one, you can bid on, eBay style. The auction will end on December the 5th. All of the others can be bought straight away, and here's how. 
These Ethereum gas fees are quite high at the moment and that's because of the popularity of Ethereum and NFTs. Yep, you can call this NFT craze. Once the transaction is recorded, then the crypto synth is yours forever or until you sell it again later on. Needless to say, when you buy a crypto synth, you support this channel and you help me make more and better content. So, happy crypto synths to everyone. I hope you're staying super inspired, doing super well, and watching maybe this video next. That's right. That's right. See you later, guys.